With an increase in mobile payment service users in Korea, some say the country is already on its way to becoming a cashless society. With this trend, our An Song Jin took a look at how service providers are tailoring their market strategies to attract customers. As a tech-savvy country, South Korea is already well on its way to a cashless society. This was possible due to mobile or other payment services where customers enter a password to make payments using bank account information previously stored on smartphones. With the simple shake or swipe of a phone, payment has become increasingly more convenient for smartphone users. A report released by the Bank of Korea showed that the daily usage of mobile payment services for the first half of 2023 increased by 13.4 percent compared to the same period last year. There are various mobile payment providers, including big fintech companies, credit card institutions, or mobile service providers, where non-traditional bank tech companies take up nearly half of the digital payment methods. There is a lot of competition and potential for growth in this market, but in the future it could become a market where only the most convenient payment service provider dominates. Samsung Electronics, where the user base for their mobile payment service, Samsung Pay, has been rapidly increasing, is looking to replace the physical wallet with a digital one. Credit card companies are also trying to meet the growing needs of customers. We're focusing on our open payment strategy where we can interchangeably use other credit cards on our platform. We're increasing the number of shops that accept KB Pay through partnerships with big tech companies and franchises while also making it available overseas. As such, these mobile payment services are now stretching beyond the borders of Korea. For our users to experience the same convenience outside of Korea, we're focused on expanding the number of available countries on our platform, including cross-border payments where tourists in Korea could also use their own national payment platforms. Our service is available in 48 regions, and we're continuing to conduct research in order to understand user preference. But venturing overseas brings its own challenges. As companies target overseas markets, I think an important factor is to be able to easily resolve any disputes with overseas service providers. It's different from when a customer has issues during a domestic transaction. How these different payment services develop is expected to further drive South Korea towards a completely cashless society. An Song Jin, Arirang News.